DiBiase for Fanatics Views, and I'm sitting here with legendary defensive back, cornerback, man extraordinaire, D'Angelo Hall of the Atlanta Falcons and the Washington Redskins as well, too. How you doing today, D'Angelo? I'm doing good, bro. I know I just asked you that question in the uh, press room as well, too, but I uh, thank you very much for uh, giving us some of your time today. Now, we uh, now to continue where we were at, we are talking Redskins. Uh -huh. What's going on with Dwayne Haskins? I liked how he looked the last five games of the season. How about you? Yeah, absolutely. You know, and the main thing that, that, that fans and people need to understand that it, it, it is a process. You know, no one's expecting Dwayne to come in and be, uh, you know, be Tom Brady or be one of these elite quarterbacks right now. I, you know, from the jump, from the time we drafted him, I just wanted to see him out there on the field and, 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 and learn from, from actually being on the field. Uh, you know, a lot of people learn from just watching, and, you know, it was plans to sit him and, you know, let him learn from just from the sideline. But I ultimately think when you're playing the quarterback position, if you really want to be elite, you have to actually see see what it feels like to throw that out route. How, how does that corner drive on it? Because college in the NFL, it, it, it is totally different. And so I don't think, you know, you could have let him uh, develop as a quarterback without putting him in those experiences. And so, you know, yeah, the stats might not have looked great, but for me it wasn't about the stats. It was about sitting and watching the game and watching how he processed things, um, watching how he called out protections, watching how one guy came free. What did he do? Was he scared to take a hit? And you saw him stand in the pocket and make good throws. Um, like I said, still has a long way to go, but got a lot of faith in this coaching staff that they're going to be able to develop him. And, uh, you know, this team's going to be really good moving forward, I got a feeling. Sounds good, sounds good. And real quick, they've just hired Ron Rivera. How do you feel about the hire there? And where do you see the best fits at for the Redskins? Say maybe on the offensive side of the ball, like offensive line, maybe a wide receiver or something of that nature. Yeah, I mean, I love the hiring of Ron Rivera. You know, I think he's a he's 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 a coach with a proven proven track track record. Um, and you know, that discipline I think is something that this you know that this team needed. Uh, you know, when you think about what potentially could be on defense for the you know for the Washington Redskins if they do draft Chase Young um, with the second overall pick, and you see the 49ers in this Super Bowl, and you think, wow. The Redskins could have a dominant defensive front when you got Deron Payne, Jonathan Allen, Ryan Kerrigan, Matt Ioannidis, uh, 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 Montez Sweat, and you draft Chase Young and add him into the equation. That's five first-round draft picks, man, on the defensive line. And to me, that's how you win football games is controlling the line of scrimmage. And you ask, what do they need? There's a couple positions they need, but you can never have too many offensive linemen. Um, you know, we, we all know about the Trent Williams situation. We don't know if he'll be back or not, so I think that's the area of need. Obviously, you know, you got a young quarterback, you got to pair him with a young, a young tackle. Um, you know, the best tackle on the board, and oddly enough, the best tackle on the board is from Louisville. You know, he's from Virginia, he's from Richmond. Um, it would make so much sense, but like I said, if you're able to get Chase Young with that number two pick, seeing what Bosa has done um, as a you know as a pass rusher, the impact he's had on the 49ers, uh, you know, defensive front, adding another guy like that to the mix too is not a bad idea either. So either way for me, I'd be absolutely happy. And what was this experience like when you were playing with Michael Vick um, in Atlanta? That was your original destination. And what was it like having Arthur Blank as an owner? Oh man, playing with Michael Vick was, you know, extremely fun. You know, growing up watching Mike, and the, and just the you know meteoric rise to, to to fame he you know he had, and it was in a it was in an era where social media wasn't the driving force. It was local and national media that kind of took took storm of Michael Vick. You you know, YouTube and all that was kind of just getting going. I think, or I don't even know if it was really even even around um, for the early part of Mike's career, uh, but just. Just being around a guy like that, man, I mean, it was much CTV. I can remember never sitting down on defense because we wanted to watch Mike kill the other team, you know, watch him make a play. We didn't want to miss anything. Um, and so, I mean, extremely humbling. It was in a time where Atlanta was the hip-hop capital of the world. You know, you saw Diddy down there and Jay-Z down there just as much as you saw him in L.A. or New York. And so, so, so deaf. It was just a special time in Atlanta, man, and Mike Vick was one of the driving forces. You think about hip hop, the culture, the music. Um, Mike Vick was a part of that, you know, transcending, uh, just really transcending sports. And those black jerseys too. Oh, and the black jerseys too. All right, so who's your, 
who is your favorite NBA team right now, or who is your favorite NBA team coming up? I mean, I never really had a team per se. You know, I grew up in the Virginia Beach area, uh, and so it wasn't the Wizards. You know, for me, or the Bullets that, that you know for that chance. Um, it, you know, it was more so what players that I like. I always rock with different players. I see you got a Lakers hat on. Obviously, I was a huge Kobe Bryant fan. Um, you know, he was instrumental in helping me kind of through my Achilles injury. Uh, and just, you know, watching his mentality, man. So, you know, I like the Lakers because of Kobe. I like the Bulls because of MJ. Uh, you know, I like LeBron. I like KD. I like Steph. You know, I like I, I, I root for guys that I know, that I have personal relationships with. But, I mean, I, I love basketball. I grew up an Allen Iverson fan, being from that 757 area. And so, like, I thought I was going to be in the NBA. Like, I used to get J.J. Riddick work in high school. And he'll argue this, but... We beat them in the state championship. And so I got game. I just didn't happen to be 6'4", 6'5". Um, I'm 5'11", and so basketball really wasn't an option. But I've always loved basketball. So for me, I just enjoy watching teams compete and players go, you know, just go out there and have fun. All right, one final question. In today's NFL, who are your top five cornerbacks? Oh. I I can't just pull five out, out, you know, off the top of my head without really sitting down and going through it. But if I can just name a few guys that, you know, that I love watching play, um, Stephon Gilmore is on that list. Uh, Marlon Humphrey's on that list. Marcus Peters, obviously, you know, I, I, I love that kid's game. You know, his attitude, his mindset. Um, Quentin Dunbar is a young dude. I, you know, I help 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 develop as a player. Uh, I mean, he's a baller. Uh, you know, I, and I know I'm missing so many other guys. Sherman's been doing it for so long, man. You can't take away what he's, you know, what he's been able to do. He's a baller. Uh, you know, it's so many players. McCordy, I just said, what's up to, you know, to him. He's doing his thing, the corner and the safety, uh, you know, both brothers. And so, I mean, there's so many good players in this league, man, that, you know, it's hard to just put a label on it. And I know I'm missing some guys, so nobody get mad at me. Uh, but, I mean, I, I, I just love watching pure guys go out and compete. Jahir Alexander's on that list as well. Um, now that I think about Green Bay and watching him play, you know, so many guys I can name at the cornerback position that I enjoy watching that play the game the right way, that use their technique, use their leverage, um, and they go get the football, man. Tredavious White, you know, you, you got to get the football, in my opinion, um, to be a good corner. All right, man. Beautiful. Thank you so much for your time, D'Angelo. And it's your boy, Pop DiBiase, for Fanatics View, signing out. What's up, sports fans? Breon Page here with Fanatics View. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. If you enjoyed watching and you want to see more content, subscribe down below.